challenging for us, technical difficulties, because we did not record the entire message. I think it only recorded maybe 11 minutes or so of the message. So uh, everything you, you take with contentment and great joy with serving God. So that being said, uh, laid on my heart to share this news uh, with everyone uh, that what, what here is actually on the website and I also will share it on Facebook. And I, first of all, before I go into what I'm about to deliver, I would like to humbly thank you all for your prayers. We're receiving prayers from all around the world. And um, it has not been easy. And anytime you go out to serve God and to listen to the Spirit of God, that the opposition and His kingdom is readily available to discourage you and try to bring you under, not wishing you words of encouragement, not even prayer, anything. But nevertheless, you accept your long suffering, you accept your challenge, you accept your trials and your tribulations to endure, and you keep pressing forward, not to your manifestation and not to your glory, but the glory of our Father. Amen. So, I'd like to kind of backtrack, I, I, and I'll try to keep this as short as possible, but I want the viewers to know where I kind of came from to the company and what the ministry. So, we live in Florida now, and my family and I, my wife and two kids, were living in Louisiana, and the Holy Spirit spoke to me years ago and wanted me to start this ministry. Ran away for a couple years uh, because I did not want to suffer. I did not want to endure the, the long suffering and the heartache and the uh, conflict and the lack of understanding that was going to happen by me taking on um, this job that God was, was, was giving me to, to do. Not for my any of my ambitions or any of my glory, but for His glory. So I just wanted to let that be known that I'm very humble and I'm very determined to do the will of God and to listen to God, knowing that His Holy Spirit lives inside of me and the Holy Spirit lives inside of you, and that He speaks to us. If I'm able to get insight how to live grown and to commit sin growing up as a child, a teenager, and as a young adult, I think I should get a little credit that maybe God is speaking to me as well. So I can hear you when the devil or Antichrist is telling me to do bad things, different lusts, different temptations, and I go after that and I listen to it without question. I think we can give God just a little of our time and a little a little credit and say that, you know, maybe he does live inside of us and maybe I should start to listen to what he's telling me to do. Not so much putting faith in what's around me naturally, or systems or entity or people around me, but put my faith in the spiritual realm and the spiritual understanding of God. So I did that. Holy Spirit told me to apply for a job that will move me and my family to Long story short, I received an engineering job to move me and my family to Florida. They paid for the expenses, and which is where he told me to go and to wait with to start the ministry. So this is what I'm here to talk to you about this morning. That it's been, I think, right at five months that we've been here. Seen, I've seen the glory of God through people, naturally and spiritually. I've witnessed a lot in this short period of time. I've gone through a lot and continue to go through a lot in this short period of time. But I come here this morning to tell you that by His grace and the sovereign power of God, that He allowed us to obtain our first building. And we have a church building that we will have in September. All finalized. Um, the building will need some work, so if you're able to uh, give a Lowe's or Home Depot or maybe a Walmart gift card, not so much if you want to give monetary, but if uh, you need some, you know, do some painting, some yard work, some landscaping, uh, some cleanup in the bathroom, some things of that sort. But nevertheless, we will continue to suffer. We will continue to move forward to do the will of God for His. 
suffering does not come close to any of the sufferings that they went through, let alone any of the sufferings that other people that we know in our lives went through to pave the way for us today. So I don't take anything for granted. I don't look at anything as a coincidence or take things that God does you that we receive a church and that God gets the glory. The church will be in Lakeland. I will later share the details with you and hopefully people can come out and help and uh, praise and worship with us. We also intend on helping the community doing different uh, charitable events such as school drives, clothing drives, care baskets out in the community. So this is not just about coming and worshiping on Sunday. or at your job, at work, at school, everywhere you go. We're just crazy enough to listen to God and live by Him and walk by Him as much as we can as possible. We're not perfect, and I claim myself to be perfect or better than anybody in existence, current, present, or in the future. But what we are saying is we are a part, just like other people are a part, we are a part of God. God has a lot of people that He loves. As a matter of fact, He loves everybody. So that being said, that's for sure a reason why we're just not our only solely group that God is shedding His light on. We hope that others can stand up and express how they feel too, as well, being a testament of how God lives and works inside of us. And again, we're a small organization small group. We're looking for all people, all races, all religious bodies to come and worship with us at our Lakeland facility. We will also let you know when that will be up. Like I said, we have to do some, some give it some TOC so it can be available uh, to everyone. Right now, I'll post pictures later. Tell you 
how powerful God is and that God is real and I am no better than anybody else but that we have a church in Lakeland, Florida. Let it be known. You can tell people to continue to pray for us. For those who are not praying for us, we love you and we accept you too as well. But we are doing what God has told us to do and we want you to know that it is God that is giving the increase and not us. It's nothing that we're doing. We have no tricks up our sleeves. I am not any type of gifted person. I am just one of his many tools in the shed and I'm obedient and I am listening to what he's telling me to do. Thank you and I appreciate you all and have a great day.